My favorite feature to use with teachers when I am coaching them to incorporate Desmos created activities into their classrooms is the dashboard that the teacher gets once students are enrolled and actively engaged in a lesson. Um, there's a lot of great features here that increase student learning and increase student engagement and increase student capacity to engage in mathematics. Uh, as a coach, I empower the teachers to have their own login created and then input this these tasks on their own. Um, so I don't have a lot of students in, in my, my database here to be able to look at. Um, this is a, a test example, but my favorite features here are the ability to have a full class conversation around a task that's going on and be able to pause a lesson and have a conversation and for a teacher to get immediate feedback based on what's going on in a classroom and go over and have an immediate conversation about with a student about what's going on. Uh, for example, here I can, I can select this box and I can go here and I can see what the it's using the sketch tool here um, and using an explanation box where this student is at on this. So the, the question asks to sketch a graph of a line on the coordinate grid um, and explain what you know about that line. Uh, this student said it was blue. I, I might pull this up and go to this student and have an immediate in the classroom conversation about what we know about lines and, and what is it that we know and don't know. Um, about lines and what they could say here instead of simply the bottom barrel answer of it's blue. Um, the next feature that I just love is the ability to um, use this pacing feature with kids and that if I wanted to bring everybody's attention to slide number five, I could go ahead and select this restrict to screen number five and now students, every student's computer goes to slide five and what I can do is I would have a menu of different um, students here. And I could go ahead and we could have a conversation about how this student fixed it. The whole purpose of this activity here is the students understand what changing the slope does to a linear function and what changing the y-intercept does. So I might, this student answered this one perfectly. Um, it's going to drop through and get success. But we might also say, hey, um, have a student that's struggling to get this right. And so we can have a conversation about what does it mean when we change our slope? What does it mean when we change our y-intercept? Um, when I'm done having that quick conversation with everybody, I would stop my pacing and allow everybody back to where they were at and to continue working on the feature. Um, the, the ability to see where kids are at and to see what kids have done and not done for a teacher is completely impactful to that lesson. This feature allows us on a daily basis to engage with kids where they're at to figure out what they know and don't know and to go to their level and work with them. Um, for example, I could select this slide 9 um, and we could go ahead and we could pause this for all kids um, on to slide 9 and, and have a conversation again about this five minutes later about what we would do to fix this marble slide. Um, we could talk about here how the y-intercept's too large. It's the line is above the stars and we need to drop this down in order to to make this work. For me the power in Desmos is to give teachers activities that are engaging that create the intellectual need for students to engage in rich mathematics, are visual, have immediate feedback, and then give the teachers the power of immediacy. If I had a whole list of students here, and on this number six I saw a whole bunch of X's, I'm going to pause right then and there and have a conversation. Um, if I hear see a bunch of checks, I might stop and praise everybody about what they're doing. Um, very few tools at a teacher's hands can do all of these things. Make the mathematics visual, provide feedback to students, and provide feedback to teachers, um, to provide a conceptual understanding, to allow kids' voice. Um, it's very easy to create in these places where kids are explaining their thinking, and therefore we can get from kids what they know and don't know about mathematics. If I were to run an activity in Desmos today, 
I would get to know all of my students' mathematics better that day and be able to be a better teacher for them tomorrow. And that's really all we can ask from, from any tool we use in the classroom.